Christmas berries today. I am going to eat this tree. First, I will read the story. Animal leg and There is a little chapter three. The cat and the rat. You might not believe it now. When cats chase rat and rats, rat hate cats, but long ago, they were best friends. One cat and rat lived very happily together on an island. In is in the island had all they needed. They were birds of the cat cat to chase and plenty of juicy plants for the rat to needle with her sharp front teeth. There was only one problem. There wasn't much easel to do. Most day most day days they were brought bored. When on one morning the rat had an idea. The rat thought about it. How could they live in the island? The the twitched her whisked and smiled. That's easy, she said. The rat governed a tree until it toppled over, and the cat scratched out the inside of the so they had somewhere to sit. Finally, the rat needle to branches to ma and made them into overs. They were ready to go to sea. The cats stepped into the boat and took the overs. Then the rat pushed the boat out onto the waves. Here goes, said the cat. There's some Nothing to worry about, said Brad. We will be fine. They rounded and rounded until it goes dark. The cat was too tired to fall asleep. But the rat felt hungry, so she was so hungry she began to needle the side of the boat. But the mat, such 
a noise. She woke up the cat. Don't worry, snicked the rat. You're dreaming. So the cat went back to sleep. He have eaten the boat. The rat was very greedy and kept on gun wing at the boat. Munching, munching, munching. Suddenly she stopped. The rat had eaten some munch. She do made a hole in the boat. Water started to slush up to the hole, and the boat began to sink. The cat woke up with a start. I am wet, she squealed. They have had, they had to let from the boat and swim for their lives. The cat was very angry. He hated getting wet. I am going to eat you. When we get to shore, he He spluttered. The rat scrambled up the shore and ran to a sand hill. She dug a hole as fast as she could and dived into it. The hole was too small for the cat to squeeze into into I am safe thought the rat but the cat didn't give up so easily he's Beak into the hole. I will wait for you, rat. He called. He called. You will have to come at some time. So he sat and he waited and waited and waited. But the rat never came out. She dug a tunnel all the way out to the hill and ran out to the other side. And what that is way today. A cat was dead set for hour upon hour waiting the on the on the rat. We monkeys live in tree. Many years ago, the king of the jungle was a gorilla named Narish. All the animal wanted to marry his daughter, but she didn't know how who to choose. 
One day, Nurse stopped it at a big wooden barrel sitting on the grass. That's new, he said, and looked inside. Ooh, what's that? The barrel was full of grasses, water. Nourish took a chip. It tasty of fire. Fire water, he said that mm, might wait. He's fire water, he said that might be unsafe. Nurse took the barrel home and called the other animals together. I have a barrel of fire water, he said, and it will help us decide who's to marry my daughter. The animals were very excited. Everyone wanted to try. They pushed and swooped closer to the burrow. But the elephant got there first. Just watch. This will be easy. He buzzed. The elephant lifted his trunk into the bottle. He sucked it up some fire water and sneezed. Sneezed. Woo! He snorted. Supplying water everywhere. It sitting. No one could drink that, and he rushed it off. The hippo, hippo, Thomas tried next. I live in the water and drink water all the time, he said. I am not scared of a bit of fire water. So he took a big mouth and almost cooked his bed out of the fire, fire water and ran to the river to cool his mouth. Next, the warsu stepped it forward. I can't eat or drink anything. He dragged it. He drank from the uh, barrel and coughed. Yep, what's horrible? He shouted, and foolish and false, your cried a voice. 
It was the layer part, and you are all far too ugly to marry the king's daughter. He stepped it up to the barrel and just as quickly stepped it began again. Even the smell of fire water made him feel sick. Now it is quiet. The other animal left it at the lair part, and he crept away in shame. Then a little voice picked it up. It was a tiny monkey. The animal started at, at him. Who could he drink this water? Nara smiled. You can try if you want, he said. But you must drink all the water and finish it today. May I drink a little eight at a time with years in between? Asked the monkey. The first was a fire king. Of course, he said. So the tiny monkey climbed onto the bridle to other animal gathered around gurning this was going to be funny. But the monkey seems very sure of himself. The monkey Go pull the large mouthful of the fire water, then ran off into the bush. Where is he going? The other animal wondered. I think he is going to spill it out the water somewhere else. After a few m moments, the monkey was back. He climbed up the side of the barrel, took another old of fire water and run off to the bushes just as he had done before before tell but tell Lainga, the monkey had a secret he was alone behind the bushes that whole trip of monkey, who all look exactly the same.
Each monkey took turns. Each monkey took turns to drink some the burning fire water. Suddenly, the draft. By the end of the day, the barrel was empty. The other animal were uh, as ton journey shit. Now I shall meet my break," said Telinga proudly. The monkey stood before the old gorilla. "Well done," said Nourish. "You have completed the task. You marry my daughter." But his daughter didn't look to please. Suddenly, the giraffe gave the shout. A shout. He had seen something interesting. Hey! He cried. There's a whole trap of monkey hiding in the bush. The linga. Cheated, wrote the animals. His friend have helped him. The monkey didn't wait to hear any more. They ran off, leaping into the trees, to the out of reach. Monkeys has lived up in trees every snus. They're much too scared to calm down. The rabbit and the crocodile. There was once a time that crocodile lived on land, not in the water. One grumpy old crocodile lived near a river and lazed in the sun all day. One day, a baby rabbit hopped past, looking for some tasty leaves. Hello, he cried and woke up the crocodile. The crocodile was fry fur yes furious. Yes, the crocodile shut his eyes again. The rabbit hopped closer. He had spotted a branch of fresh green leaves just by the cro crocodile's nose. With loud crunching, he began to grumble them up. The crocodile the crocodile's ears happened open. Get away from those leaves, he roared, and he 
snapped it, yet the rabbit with his enemies jaws. The little rabbit ran and ran. He didn't stop until the rigid his brown. The crocodile nearly ate me, he told his mother, but I didn't do anything wrong. His mother was very angry. It's time the crocodile was taught the lesson, she said firmly. She is grumpy and lazy, and it just won't do. Gathering the other rabbits together, she told them she had a plan. The next day, the rabbits went into the woods. They collect branches, twigs, and leaves and stuff them into a sack. That's enough, said the rabbit's mother, and off they went to find the crocodile. They didn't have to look far. He was by the river bank asleep as a cell the rabbit crept closer sneaking up they made a brick circle of twins leaves and branches around the crocodile Then the mother rabbit said light to the circle. The fire crippled and spat and smoke billowed up. The crocodile worked with a jump. When he saw the fire, he blowed the fear. The fire was looking at his skills, taking a flying leap and jumped right over the sands and disappeared into the river with a splash. When the crocodile heard the rabbit laughing, he was very annoyed. He shouted at them all from the river. Keep off your land, them cried the rabbit, and that's how it stayed even since. Yes, today I read the story. Uh, today I think I cannot read the story because it is almost 30 minutes the story is so then next time I will read more stories then bye